For our next community conversation, we're joined by Andy Pillafont, the director of communications at the Paramount Theater. Hey there, Steve. All right, we're, we're, we've got a lot going on, at the, always at the Paramount. Always. We want to look ahead because it's good to plan for the future. You have to plan for the future. Right. And after the new year, February brings some good stuff to the Paramount. We'll get to February. Can That's we talk what I about said. first though? First though, we've been making a lot of announcements. We're starting to you know make a lot of bookings for 2024. We'll talk about that. Uh, one of the announcements that we made is the new season of our exhibition on screen series. The first one will be on November 1st, which is coming sooner than we think. Um, this one is about. Uh, this one's called Klimt in the Kiss. Uh, this is you know the whole series are deeper dives into paintings, into artists, um, perspective, context. Uh, a lot of interesting things happening here, and you can see the, the painting there on your screen. Everybody, not everybody, a lot of people know this painting, um, but what's the story behind it? And that's the kind of question that Exhibition on Screen will explore. We've got three more coming up, but they won't be until 2024, which is a great segue to the next part of our yeah, So if people have questions about the Four Phantoms, you can learn more about the Four Phantoms at the Paramount on February 2nd. So Phantom of the Opera, huge, almost synonymous with Broadway. Uh, four of the Phantom performers, and you can see them there, have a tour together, and they'll be performing a lot of songs to include Phantom of the Opera. Outstanding. Yes, beautiful night of music. I mean, outstanding voices, and it will be really fun to see uh, how well they get along on stage. And, and maybe the voices will meld a little bit. Right? I think Mesh so. A little bit. Yes. Um, the Drum Tao in February. Drum Tao, February 8th. Um, Drum Tao is a uh, Japanese drumming group. They've been around for 30 years. They performed for over 7 million people at this point. Absolutely outstanding. I think we'll reinforce the roof before this one. <laughs> it's athletic. They're fiery. The sets are amazing. The costumes are amazing. And the drumming is outstanding. And they play a variety of drums. Some of them are handheld, and some of those uh, are... I mean, they weigh thousands of pounds. So imagine the difference in the, those two sounds coming out of a drum and how they all work together. That's incredible. That's on the 8th of February. In March, a chance to take in The Moth? The Moth, um, backed by very popular demand. Um, the Moth is a wonderful program. It's a wonderful organization. Um, these are true stories told live and without notes. Um, moth stories can come from anywhere and anyone. Moth stories uh, share with us what makes us unique and diverse and also what we all have in common with each other. Um, this is part of their main stage, so the Moth can kind of do live performances in a variety of ways. This one will feature five storytellers and an MC. It did absolutely fantastic the last time it was here. Uh, it'll be two years um, in March of 24, so um, a lot of folks are really excited about this one, myself included. Love the Moth. Tight on time, but Mandy Patinga is a guy who does everything. He does everything. Um, if you're like me and you grew up, you know, primarily in the 80s, you know him from A Princess Bride. He is obviously much, much more than that. He's a Tony Award winning Broadway performer, and he'll do a night of story and song at the Paramount. Really, really excited about this one. That's on February, I'm sorry, April 28th. All right. Appreciate it as always, Andy. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Casey? Thank you.